Do you know what this is? Look a little closer. These are old printer ink cartridges. Thousands of them. Have you ever stopped to wonder what happens to ink cartridges when you're done with them? If you toss them in the landfill, that's bad. But if you recycle them, they just might end up here. Here is a printer ink cartridge recycling facility just outside Nashville, Tennessee, and it's where all HP's old ink cartridges, toners, and old printers are sent. When HP printer owners who subscribe to HP's Instant Ink program are done with their ink cartridges, HP includes a little envelope for you to mail them in for recycling. All those envelopes eventually end up in Laverne, Tennessee, right here. But then what? I came to Nashville to answer the question of what happens to your HP ink cartridges once you pop them in that recycling bag and drop them in the mail. When they are returned back to HP, we shred them or disassemble them and we take the plastics from those cartridges and put them into new cartridges again by reformulating the plastic, combining it with either plastic bottles or hanger material, and that all gets combined to go into new HP cartridges again. First, they're poured into massive machines that sort them into different sizes and types. Some need to be hand disassembled, but others are taken apart by a machine. This machine sets batches of the same cartridges up so that another machine can remove the metals and separate the ink sponges and the plastics. When they've been through this process, this is what's left. Batches of different materials waiting to be recycled or remade into brand new products. About 40 to 50 million cartridges a year are recycled through our HP Planet Partners program. That's an astounding number, but it's also a lot of waste to keep out of landfills. Similarly, the recycling facilities also handle old printers and copiers. These are painstakingly dismantled by hand and broken up into their many different parts. What can be reused is reused. When it comes to the plastics, once it's separated from all those other materials, it's crushed up in a giant plastic shredder. Um, so she will uh, convey the material up while the, while the forklift drivers continue to load it. Um, we have the camera directly over the blades. It's a 500 horsepower shredder of uh, the blades, so uh, it does about 15,000 pounds an hour. So all this plastic scrap is eventually turned back into plastics and yes, even back into new HP printers. The world is facing a crisis right now. Climate change is real, uh, ocean plastic is real, and these problems are continuing to grow. And if companies like HP don't step up and take immediate actions starting today and continuing to increase to solve problems, um, we know this is our responsibility. We know we need to do it for ourselves, for our business to be sustainable in the long run, uh, and we need to do it for our customers, and we need to do it for the planet. HP is doing quite a bit to make its products less impactful on the environment, and they really wanted to share the news. That's why they brought reporters, journalists, and bloggers like me to Nashville for their sustainability summit. HP used the meeting to showcase what it's doing for the environment. They also announced a new printer that HP says is their first carbon neutral printer. What does that mean? So, first of all, when we were thinking about this product, how can we reduce the carbon from the product itself? So how do we make it smaller, lighter? How do we include more recycled plastic in it? So the Tango Terra has 30% recycled plastic in the product itself. The printer is called the HP Tango Terra. Terra means earth. And HP says this printer is meant to make sure the planet is taken care of. It's a Tango printer bundled with eco-friendly paper and it gets you set up on HP's Instant Ink program, which delivers ink cartridges to your door and makes sure your cartridges are recycled. What we saw in the recycling facility was just the tip of the iceberg. There's practically a football field's worth of other recyclables on the day we visit, all waiting for their turn at a new life. So next time you get this little postage paid envelope with your new cartridges, don't ignore it. Pop your printer and ink cartridges inside and send them off so they too can have a chance at a better life. You can read more about this initiative at techgadgetscanada.com. For now, I'm Erin. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you on Twitter or Instagram until the next time at ErinLYYC.